You're watching the TC MMA podcast. Again, I'm going to keep saying this up and down the card. The next one is a lightweight banger. Lightweight division needs no introduction. We already know how tough this division is, no matter who's fighting. It's always uh, a tough fight. But in this one, you got Matush Rebecca, 19 and 2 versus McTybeck Oralby, who comes in at 13 and 1. So who knows how this fight's going to play out because both guys are. Uh, really good. I mean, both guys are really good. So let's get into this one right now. In the lightweight division at UFC 308, you got a big one here between Matush Rebecki and McTybeck Orobai. Both guys on the come up in one of the best divisions in the UFC. So let's dive right in. Rebecki 19 and 2, Orobai 13 and 1. Orobai is the favorite. But hold on, let's get into it first. Oral by three inches taller, 5'10". He's just 26. Rebecca right in the middle of the prime at 31. Oral by almost a 10-inch reach advantage. That's like unheard of. You don't see that. 76 to 66. Rebecca's uh, left-handed. Oral by right-handed, so opposite stands. Rebecca's more active on the feet. 4.7 significant strikes per minute. I say that's going to hold up here. Oral by three significant strikes per minute. So big advantage for Rebecca on the feet. But Oral by over two takedowns, almost two and a half takedowns per round. You're looking at five takedowns in two rounds. Rebecca gets more than one per round. So something's got to give here, right? Now, beginning with Rebecca, 33% takedown defense. Coming off the loss to Diego Ferreira by KO. Beat Roosevelt Roberts by submission and KO'd Loic Razabal. So that was a setback against Diego Ferreira, who's a good fighter. He did have four takedowns in that fight against three for Ferreira, but got dominated on the feet by 70 significant strikes. Oral by 50% takedown defense. Beat Elvis Brenner by decision. Dominated with five takedowns. Gave up three. Against Uros Medic, dominated. Right? That surprised a lot of people. Led to a submission victory, seven takedowns. So you have complete control with takedowns uh, by way of Oral by, or else I'd be forced to go with Rebecca, who I think beats everybody uh, outside the top five and not named. McTybeck Orobai. So this is a very tough uh, prediction to make, but I got to go with Orobai looking at everything. Uh, you know, he's lacking on the feet, but he's so relentless with takedowns. rebecca has got something to prove here, and you might very well do it, and I won't be upset uh, because I like Matush Rebecca, but I, in terms of the prediction, I got to go with Orobai to get the job done. You're landing over, you know, two and a half takedowns per round. That means you're definitely getting one, and now if you can just hold it to the ground and dominate there, you're going to win the fight. And that's probably what's going to happen, even if he's got to land two or three per round. But he'll move to 14-1, in my opinion, in the very, very tough, always lightweight division at UFC 308. Yeah, and I saw this one coming up as we were doing the predictions the other day. And I said, oh, yeah, Matusha Becky's winning. I mean, this guy hardly ever loses. Then you start to peek at the matchup and you're like, wait a minute. Oral by just goes for takedowns relentlessly. I mean, in pursuit the whole fight. And if he can't get him, he's going to shoot for 20 takedowns. I mean, so Matush Rebecki is just going to have to have nearly 90% takedown defense to have a chance to win this fight. And when you consider that, you're like, okay, that's probably not going to happen. And Oral by is going to land takedowns uh, throughout the fight. So therefore, we got Oral by winning this one. He's gonna fight, wait, he's gonna fight, wait, hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight a call, UFC at its height, yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might, saying, Step up, wanna fight? Huh? Hold up, think twice. Ah. Gladiator assassin, reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded.